It is bank holiday Monday and I am at work. So we're going to be doing some down lights, get a pendant fitted and just generally finishing off some bits in this kitchen. So let's get on. sockets we didn't realize the walls are all being re skimmed with this one it's got a plastic box in and they've so they've skimmed around it now but the guy's not too confident filling around it because it is actually broken as well so got to get that one smashed out get a new 25 mil metal box in there new socket face on it and then you can fill up to the box and get that all done off nicely but uh, yeah with a bit of an issue here so the cable the uh, cable kitchen fitter actually hit our lighting cables you know, they obviously don't know enough about lighting zones or cable zones. So we had to cut in a one go box above the kitchen unit just to rejoin the cables there <coughs> and then get some new legs down. And at the same time, we had to lower the light switch anyway. So that's where the old light switch was. So we've lowered it down to here and he's got to then make good all that. How exciting. Not chased out very nicely, admittedly, but that's what happens when you've got a newly skimmed wall like that on an old wall. It just breaks off sometimes. Uh, I mean, you can see it here, look, pla the plaster's not taken very nicely everywhere. It's all cracking a little bit, but there you go. Who am I to comment? Um, yeah, downlights are in. They're working an absolute treat. Beautiful. Gonna get the pendant up. Then we've got that cooker isolated to fit in there a twin socket which comes off of that cooker isolator because we've got a hob and an oven both on 13 amp plugs so we're going to connect them into a twin socket off of the six mil there get these two sockets screwed back um, and fit the beautiful pendant here which is a good home which i can't remember if that's home base or b and q it's one of them um, but yeah nice pendant um i just need to go and grab a filament bulb for that one because they never come with them so yes we're gonna Go and get that. I need to go up, grab a couple of the bits from the shop and then we can get this all wrapped up. Cushy cushy. I mean, all right, old mare. Went to get this stuff and obviously I didn't even consider the fact that it's Bank Holiday Monday and the traffic is horrendous trying to get back to the job. So, but I'm not too far away now, about 10 minutes. But yeah, there is a little hardware store in South Martin where I live, but it's closed today, unfortunately, because I could have got everything I needed from there, but I've had to go Barnstable instead, so it is what it is. But yeah, the traffic is rubbish. I'm nearly there, and then we can crack on, hopefully get this smashed out before lunchtime and then go home, because I'm out for dinner tonight with the family. Woo! Okay, we're back. So, I want to get this socket knocked out, get a new box fitted in there. I'm gonna try and do that. I'm just literally gonna actually take a hammer and screw over to the actual box and break it out rather than trying to pull the whole box out because it's just the hole will be bigger than what it needs to be so if i can smash it out hopefully i can just fit a new 25 mil box <coughs> and they've got minimal filling to do so i've got this crappy cough at the minute it's horrible working down at the hospital we just pick up all sorts of stuff oh so yes let's get this socket done and then get the other two screwed back get the cooker switch changed over for a new one which we've got here that's up in the cupboard socket fitted in the cupboard for the cooker and hob ignition this is a gas hob pendant to fit and then we are finished
this one refixed back. So we've already got our new surface box on there. Just need to fix that to the back of the unit. Then we've got a new two gang without a socket isolate. Can't be thinking like already. Unbelievable, with my thumb rather. Yeah, get that one fixed up in the cupboard. <coughs> we had to rewire part of the cooker circuit because it was weird to move it all. Um, <clears throat> and the leg that came down and out for the actual outlets was actually above the work surface. So it was here, it was a box, and then the flex just dove down beyond the worktop. It looked terrible. So I hadn't quoted to move that, but we've done it. So we've got a new six mil coming out behind the kitchen units, um, which as you can see, We've got two plugs coming through, one for the hob, one for the cooker. Uh, so we're just going to put a new twin socket in there. Well, I, I say we all the time. It's like the royal we. Now, I am going to put a twin socket in there. I'm going to then screw those two back so they're done. Uh, the client didn't go for under cabinet lighting in here, unfortunately, because that would look really nice, I think. But it is what it is, especially as she's had it all skimmed. We could have had LED under cabinet lights everywhere in this, and it would look really nice. But it is what it is, you know. She's on a tight budget, single mum and that. Um... But um, yeah, so let's get that box fitted, cooker switch done, and then word of advice. This is what I would suggest doing anyway. In a unit like this, take the shelves out to fit that because it's going to make life much easier. But always make sure you mark in here where that shelf actually sits. <coughs> And the one above, <coughs> pardon me, excuse me, rather, because um, then rather than having all these shelves taken out, doing your switch and then putting the good put back in and you realise, oh crap, it doesn't fit. So yeah, that's what I would suggest doing. Mark it with a pencil, top and bottom, and then you know exactly where you're going with those. Um, but yeah, let's get that one done. Well, there we go. That is me done. So pendant is up, really quite nice. So I just picked up a filament bulb for that one as well for the client. Light fitting didn't come with one. It costs a few quid. Just do it. It's a nice thing to do. I need to pop back very briefly in a minute because that socket and that socket need slightly longer screws. And I've not got any in the van. How flipping annoying is that? So I'm going to have to pop back literally for about two minutes work. But I should be able to get some at home and just pop in and quickly do that a little bit later on um yeah socket's done in under by the cooker yeah. isolator that socket and switcher will fit back just need the, the kitchen fit is going to fill around it and all that yes all good though done the tests um just going to get over home now so thank you so much for watching Make sure you like and subscribe. You'll probably see more videos like this coming up, a bit more domestic work, because um, my big commercial jobs have all sort of finished. We're doing a lot, like I said, we're doing a lot of subcontracting <coughs> for another firm on a commercial job, but we can't film there because it's a, it's a hospital. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys some sort of time next week um, for another video. Oh uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps and it makes a difference. And... 2,000 subscribers, we're getting that van video out. So, tell all your friends. Oh. Right, see you later. Cheers then.